Hey everybody, working on these sliding doors, you know. You see, it's very difficult to open this one. But I'm about to fix that. I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do. This door here completely broke down. Oh, it was a couple weeks ago and we fixed this and now it's just, as you can see, it's working great. This one, you couldn't open it or close it. It was jam tight. And the reason these things break is because of the rollers down at the bottom. You have one on the right end side and one on the left. They are adjustable, but they give out. The ones in this case are probably better than 30 years old. And they nothing but a little wheel with a bearing in it. Very small bearing and like with the, you know, ball bearing. And the ones that were on the door that completely broke down, one wheel, the bearings had come out of it, it was jammed up. Now I bought these, I got this set of Ace Hardware for $9.95 plus tax. It was the last one they had. On eBay, I just typed, I literally typed in the, uh, the number, you know, the stock number, which is right there, along with the uh, name of the brand, and it came right up, one and a quarter inch, you know, steel wheels. And I got these off of eBay with shipping him for like 11 and some change. So that worked out great. And what we're gonna do is get this fixed. And I probably am only gonna need this, some screwdrivers. I don't know which one, I can't remember. I don't need them all actually. And we're gonna take this door and what you gotta do is you gotta lift it up. You gotta lift it up and then pull it off from the bottom. And I'm gonna put some styrofoam down here and then I'll show you how I get the wheels out. I'm doing it with my wife's assistance. I'm 71. My assistance is 69 years old. And if we can get this done, we've already fixed that one and we've We've played with them before. Anybody can do it. She's basically here to, to spot me in case I get dizzy, which I do from time to time, and start to fall over with this thing. You see that little hole there? You go in there with the screwdriver. I can't remember if it's flat to or Phillips, and that's where you can adjust that wheel up or down. And if it's up too much, then it's gonna be too tight and if it's down too much then this is gonna drag and the temperature of course has a lot to do with how well they turn because of its you know cold hot you know expansion and so on contraction and I know I'm talking a lot but we're gonna get this out and we'll see you'll see how it's done and if you called somebody and had them come in, like I said, you can fix one door for about 11 bucks. If you call the maintenance person, you know, somebody handyman come up, they might tell you you need a whole new door. You know, you never know what they're going to tell you. And I hate to price these doors in today's, you know, the way prices have gone up. Inflation. I bet you'd, you'd wind up costing you, it could cost you in the thousands before you got done. A thousand, two, three thousand. Price. Well, I got the foam pads down. 
Alright, come over here. On the other side. These are the wheels. Get up close to that wheel. And if you see it, see how wobbly it is? The bearing shock. Down here, you got another wheel. This one here is spinning better. When we fixed the other one, it was pretty much like this. See this one here, it hasn't got it hasn't got as much wobble on it. Come on back up here. Now they sell the complete thing. I'll show you a view of it after I get it out. Black I'll clean this black, all up and I'll oil it. <laughs> black widow I'll spider the eggs in there. Yeah. Which you'll take out and then you can get, you get, and then this whole bar that you see running across here, you gotta lift this bar. You gotta screw here, come on down. Follow my finger. And then you gotta screw here. And you gotta take both these out. Then you take this entire piece, you take this entire piece up, and there's a gasket. And the gasket will hang in there. You kind of play with it. That's with this particular style door. There's many other ways to do it. But I wouldn't want to do it alone. You shouldn't do anything with big that's heavy with glass alone anyway. You should have somebody there just in case. And then that's about all there is to it. So come back over here. See how I Turn that and it doesn't spin so much. I will show you how bad this bearing is when we get it out, as opposed to this one down here, which is still, in a way, it's serviceable. If I replace just the one, she'd slide pretty good, but that's that's good. Okay, this here I had to give it a little tap. It was real tight, so I used some PB Blaster. So just so you know that. And get this out. I already got the other one out. Now let's see if we can get this thing off. See that gasket? And you got to be careful when you're working with glass because it's not impossible to screw it up, you know? But see that? That'll come right out. And that's that gasket. And whoa! Did I hit? No, it's okay. Okay. That's all you got to do. Now we want to get this thing out of here. They're kind of squeezed in. Now I've seen places people will buy them complete and you're gonna cost you a lot more money. And this thing here, for the most part, is not gonna wear out. What wears off is, see those little BBs in there? You can see it. There's even some missing. And that's where it was in the other one. And you just take this thing out. I'm probably going to have to punch it out. I'll show you the thing later. And you can see how it swivels. And that's the adjuster. You can adjust this. You know, it's already adjusted in as far as it will go. So it's time to replace this. But if you could, you know, by adjusting it and out, it'll lower that up and down, whatever you want, which will raise that, the whole door up and down, if you can picture it. Like I said, if it's down too much, it will drag on the bottom. And if 
it's up to too much, it'll drag on the top. And that's what you're going for. You know, you're trying to get a nice middle of the road, I guess you could say. Because as I said, once you get in there, it's right. The heat, you know, will make it expand and cold will make it contract. Contract. But you know the <laughs> word I'm trying to find. Yeah. And the house shrinks and, and expands. It does. But that's where we're at. the old wheel I hope you can you know well you can see how bad though that is and here's the new one now for some reason I don't know why but when I fixed the other door I didn't have to do this but on this one I had to make one of these so I took a, a bolt and cut it off and then I got this screwed on to hold the wheel in place the other time the uh, Yellow one fit, I don't know why. All right, so now I come over here, and I want to place this in. And the wheel goes in first on this particular model. And there's the adjusting screw, and I clean that all up so it now turns it in out nice and easy. But you got to put it in here. And I can use, spread this open with my fingers, and I get it down here. And then you got to get it. A little more and I'm gonna drive that down a little block of wood see and that's where it stops and you see, all right come over this this thing now you see that wheel you want to see it from this side not there there And that's coming out or you turn it the other way and it'll go back in but that's probably about where I want it okay now I gotta put this piece back on and the rubber gasket you really want to uh, I didn't do it here but it's best if you take that rubber gasket and clean it and put some soapy water on it it'll go in a lot easier House was built in 1975. They're old. They're like close to 50 years old. So they held up really, really good. But these wheels here I got, I like them a little bit better because of this edge that's sticking out on both sides that holds that metal piece that goes in between where these didn't have it. Because when, not this side, but the other side when I took it off, the metal was also pinching up against the wheel and helping to keep it from spinning well. But you got to play around with it, but I did it with my wife's help, and that's, that's it. 